Hello, buddy. What's up, guys? We're back again with another video. I got a little request, so on my YouTube community, I have a thing called like, hey, what do you guys want me to review? What do you guys want me to take a look at? And now I just, I saw a lot of Pioneer, Pioneer Universal head unit by Pioneer or Alpine. So the Alpine ILX, and then of course this Pioneer, this one came out this year, uh, CES 2020, it's so new. So it has the latest Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, of course, wired. Uh, then a host of other things like RGB, um, let's see, USB aux, of course. And of course, Pioneer is known for the audio, so that's gonna be sick. Uh, I'm just gonna hear the difference. Now this thing cost me $900 plus tax. You're looking at about 80 bucks for tax, so about a grand for this unit, which is a lot of money. <laughs> so I'm gonna be comparing this to like, a, you know, a, the cider or an I doing or Sakane Joying, which is usually around Bottom end would be around 300, and then like a top end model from a Dicida would be like a Max 6 with the DSP and the Android on Apple CarPlay. That's usually about 460 to 500 dollars. Uh, this is twice as much, so <laughs> is it twice as good? Well, we're gonna find out. So let's see the unboxing. Oh. Okay, so. Right off the bat, we have the some kind of antenna, probably like a GPS antenna. It looks like. Take a look, feast your eyes on that bad boy, and it has some kind of pad. Now I don't know what kind of antenna this is, but uh, there it is. There you go. Uh, then you have a microphone. Now you have this. This is a standard microphone packaging with the uh, clip, and then like a boom mic facing a direction. And it does come with three um, adhesive. Uh, then we have a the kind of like the main wiring. Now, um, what you can do is you can buy. I'm gonna put a link this down in the description below where you can find one for Toyota or Subaru or GM, Chevy, you know, all those guys right there, Hyundai, and generally Metro actually has some pre-built ones uh, if you don't want to wire it yourself. So I'm gonna be wiring it myself. Uh, then we got this crazy thing right here. I don't even know what this is. But it does have labels. So we got the subwoofer output. It's, it's nicely labeled and it's also in a different language too. Uh, by the looks of it, it looks like it's in Japanese. Um, but I don't, I'm not too sure. But this is where you're gonna have all your aux and outputs, rear outputs and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Then we have a pretty thick cable right here. Isn't that right? Kaze the Porgy right here. Do you wanna follow Kaze? He's a, uh, we'll put a little Instagram right here. Looks like we have a USB-C male to female. So some kind of extension. There you go, it is thick. Super thick. Some brackets, of course, that's nice um, to mount it. That is a universal head unit. And then we have some short screws. That way when you're mounting it onto, you're screwing into the head unit, you're not going inside of the head unit. Now this is funky. This is just how it, like, I mean, classic. You have the little remote. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it actually looks not too bad. It usually looks really, like back in the day, it used to look really hideous. This kind of looks clean, but we're not gonna really use that for a car application. And then right here, we have a USB-C to um, USB Type-A adapter. A bunch of warranty papers. Now let's get to the bolt. So now we have a box. This is probably the display. Let's put that aside for now. So the packaging is pretty good. Um, it's not the good foam though, so it's the cheap styrofoam, which I don't really like. It gets messy, but, um, and it's not very, I don't, I mean, it's kind of hard and it doesn't absorb as good as like the Android head units you get from other companies where they use that more um, squishy foam. And then, I mean, look at this. It's not the best packaging. I'll tell you that. I mean, it is a thousand dollars. This is baller. So here we go with the head unit itself. It is. It's not that heavy. It feels, I, I, I can weigh it, but um, 
it feels like four or five pounds. Um, and this is probably where you put the display or something like that. And I'll just get you got a look side. You have a little mounting holes for your universal setups. The back got the fan. Now the thing with Android head units is they don't have fans. So um, maybe they'll keep the components cooler, but is it noisier? We're just gonna have to see. And then you have more mounting points, the back, and uh, this is for FM antenna. I don't even know what this is for. HDMI in, that's very cool. Doesn't look like a regular HDMI output though. But HDMI in is what the label says right here. And then you have some kind of uh, GPS. So that's, eh, it's what it, it is what it is. It's nothing special. It feels, I thought it'd be a lot heavier, honestly. You got your fuse box right there. Now, what's so special about this one is you got that new movement where you, um, you have the kind of like a tablet style. Now, Mercedes, Teslas, they all have this tablet style. Uh, hate it or love it, it is what the 2020 look is. And manufacturers, like, I've been doing this on since 2017, 2018 on the Android head units. They've been doing tablet styles and um, it looks pretty good. Okay, I tell you, okay. So here's the display by Pioneer. It is dense, this does feel dense. Now this, man, I think the screen is actually heavier than the head unit, that's kind of weird. Um, I'm just saying, this thing is dense and it's heavy and it feels good. Now we have the display. Oh, that's probably where the, um, where it said HDMI. You just hooks it up right there and you can kind of see it. It kind of sits like this. It, it is. It is a kind of. It's a chonker. I don't know what to say. It is a little bit chonky. Now, what I don't like right off the bat. Now, I never turned the screen on, but you know how you had like the iPhone 4s or the iPhone 4, 3, where the you have the display, like the glass, and then you have uh, you have the glass, and then you have the display, right? So the newer iPhones and like Samsungs, the, the display is literally glued onto the glass. And that makes it so you get really good viewing angles, you, um, like from different angles, it looks really sharp. And it just, it just feels, it just looks bigger, cleaner, and the colors just pop better. Now, if you can see in this Pioneer, is you can see the glass, but you can, it's so massive. Not even the Android head units are like this. It, it looks like I'm looking at Game Boy Advance. That's how bad it is, is where you see this, you see this border. I don't know if I can get that pick up in camera. I'm looking, it looks like almost like three or four millimeters of gap. Three or four millimeters of gap. So that's pretty bad. Let me see if I can get this a good angle on this. Cause it's really hard to show you. So you, can, you, can you see the shadow get cast from the, the black bit, like right here, look right here. You can see the shadow getting cast on the display because it's, it's that, like, I don't know, that, it's a weird design choice they did right there for sure. Why would they do it like that? I don't know. I hope it looks good. But I mean, I, I'm, I'm just telling you right now, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked that a product that costs this much, the packaging is lacking. It's not, it doesn't feel very special. Um, the hardware, um, it does feel like um, the quality control seems very good. So uh, it feels very good and everything feels solid. But I don't know, why is the display like the main, the most important thing has that kind of like, like when you touch it, like, it's like I touch a glass and then three, four millimeters, it's inside the display. So imagine if you're touching it from an angle and how that is that, you know, you're gonna be sitting like this and if you touch at this angle, it doesn't hit really that one-to-one -one look. 
don't know, it's just, it's just weird. I, I know I'm talking about this play, but we're gonna have to turn it on and see how this bad boy looks like. Because, I mean, if it's super bright and it doesn't matter, or maybe it helps cut down glare, that could be uh, a good thing. I'm just gonna have to wait and see.